Jesus is my foundation. Tell the whole world I am a new creation. I am free. I am a masterpiece. And I am fearfully and wonderfully me. I am a true girl. Oh, 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 oh. I am, I am, I am a true girl. Oh, 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 oh. I am, I am, I am a true girl. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. I am, I am, I am a true girl. I am, I am, I am a true girl. Well, hello, true girls and moms. I'm Stacy coming at you from Michigan. Hey, girls, I'm Abby. I am in Virginia Beach. And hi, girls, I'm Casey, a student at Cedarville University coming at you live from Ohio. And welcome to Creative Arts. We're going live every weekday at noon with a homeschool elective on our YouTube channel. And we're so excited you guys are here today because today is Good Friday. It's a really special day. I love this. And if you don't know what Good Friday is, it's the day that we remember Jesus's crucifixion and the day that he showed us his love, just how much he loved us by dying on the cross and taking our place for our sins. So I love this day. I'm really excited about our craft and it's going to be a cool craft that just reminds us about what he's done on the cross for us. Yeah, that's awesome. And today we have an amazing guest joining us to teach us this incredible Good Friday craft. She's a very special friend of the True Girl Ministry, and her name is Courtney Ballard, and she's from her own ministry called the Pearl House. We love them. They provide a home education and spiritual development to empower girls in Ghana, Africa. It's so cool. We'll introduce you to her in just a moment. And just to clarify, her name is actually Courtney Bullard. So that's not your fault. It, we, we've accidentally said it many times. So it's Bullard. Great last name. We love Courtney. She is a great friend of ours. And we also want to make sure that we have everything that we need. So for today's creative arts lesson, you need chalk. You need painter's tape. It says blue painter's tape, but like any color your tape will suffice and um wood of any kind so you can do it on your fence you can do it on just like a big scrap of wood whatever kind of wood you have um in your somewhere in your yard that your neighbors can see because we want this to be on display okay and if you don't have your materials now would be a great time to grab them yes and we can't wait to see what you make with courtney Bullard. <laughs> so please remember to post a photo on our Facebook or our Instagram or post you participating in this True Girl Live right now in this very moment. We'll select each one of you every day to show someone. So to look kind of like this, this is a picture of the Snyder girls. Aren't they the cutest? So cute. Wow. So ask your mom to take a photo of you hanging out with us on YouTube during True Girl Live then have her post it to Facebook or Instagram and be sure to tag us so we can see it. We really want to see your beautiful smiling faces doing these fun things with us. So let's move right into my favorite freedom stories. And I'm sure you girls love these freedom stories too. These are awesome. Um, so one of the core verses for our ministry is John 8, 31 through 32. And it says, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth Will set you free. Yeah, we want you girls to be reading, reading the word and listening to each other's freedom stories because when we stay in the word, God's truth can make us feel peaceful, um, happy, joyful. There's so many things that his word can do for us. And so I want to read you right now a really incredible freedom story. All right, her name is Claire. Everything on our calendar keeps getting canceled. We are planning a big trip in June to New York, Boston, and Acadia National Park. It hasn't been officially canceled yet, but I'm just waiting to hear that it is. I was feeling upset because all of these things keep changing. Then in school, we are studying James, and we came across the verse, you don't even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? It is mist that appears for a while, then disappears. Instead, you should say, if it pleases the Lord, we will live and do this and that. So that's James 4, 14 through 15. I realized we have been living our life by our calendar and not necessarily always giving it to God. 
God knows what will happen and is always watching out for us. So I need to leave all my plans in his hands. Whatever happens with our trip, I know God has a wonderful plan for me and my family. Wow. How old is she? That's profound. I am That's deep. Yeah. Blown away by the wisdom in this freedom story. Claire, thank you so much. It's very relatable. I feel like all of us, me, Stacy, and Abby can all agree that something has been canceled for us because of this time. And that can be really frustrating. But the fact that you're like, you know what, even if my really super awesome trip does get canceled, I know that God has a plan and it's a wonderful plan for my family. That's amazing. Thank you for stepping out in faith and sharing this with us. Oh my goodness. And we'd love to hear even more stories just like Claire's. I know you guys have them. Uh, So the question might be that you are asking, how can you send us your freedom stories? And I'd love to tell you. (laughs) So the first thing, start reading your Bible every single day. Make sure you're just filling yourself with that truth. And the second thing, identify verses or a verse that help you feel uh, safe in a time like this. And then you just leave us a comment in the chat feature right here, and we will check them out and read them for you tomorrow. And at the end of our class today, we will all be praying together over your prayer request. So if you have a prayer request today, it doesn't matter how big or how small, drop it in the comments right now so we can pray for you later. So guess what? Now it is time to meet our special guest, Courtney Bullard of the Pearl House. (laughs) Hi, Courtney. Thanks so much for being with us today. We're so happy that you're here to share with us this amazing Good Friday craft. Why don't you get us started? Okay, well, welcome. I hope everyone is doing great today. Happy Good Friday. I love today. We're going to talk a little bit more about that here in a little bit. But Like the girl said, you need painter's tape or really any kind of tape will work and you need chalk. And so what I love about this craft that we're gonna do today is that um, today we're actually gonna, I'm gonna use our fence at our house, but you can use any piece of wood you have. Um, I've actually seen girls that they've used their sidewalk. Um, You can use your, um, what else could you use? I've actually seen girls that they've used painter tape on their windows and they've used washable paint to do this craft. Um, make sure you ask your parents before you do that, but um, there's all different ways that you can do this craft. So just, I encourage you to be creative and to have fun. Like we're just going to have fun together today. So again, my name is Courtney Bullard. I'm coming at you from Oklahoma. And uh, so let's get started. All right. So what I did is I actually went ahead and I taped our outline. So that's the first thing that I would encourage you to do. So you're going to take your tape and you can make this as big or as small as you want to make it. So it just kind of depends how much time you want to spend on it. Um, So what I did is I did a frame, right? So what you're going to do is go ahead and frame it however big that you want your craft to be. And then today, what we're going to do is actually a cross um, because that's the whole reason why we're celebrating Easter on Sunday, Good Friday today is because of the cross. And so what I'm going to do, and now let me say this first, girls is that if you are a perfectionist and everything needs to be equal and um, symmetrical, then you can get a tape measure out, you can get a ruler and make sure everything is, you know, perfectly the way you want it. Today, I'm just gonna eyeball it. So I tend to kind of just eyeball it because um, that's just kind of how I roll. But today we're gonna do the cross. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, kind of act like this is a picture frame, okay? And so this would be your frame and we're gonna do a cross in the very center of it. So let's say we want our cross to be about, let's just say about that big. Does that look like the center? Yeah. So you're gonna do your cross and however big you wanna do it. So as you're doing this, um, and hopefully you're doing this with me at home, uh, you're gonna make your cross. And you know what I love about this? You know, we decided to do this craft outdoors. Um, and I encourage you girls to get outside. It is so important to be outside. And uh, the other day, you're going to meet them here in a little bit, but I actually have two daughters um, who are 10 and six, um, and I can't wait for you to meet them here. But the other day, Charlotte, who's my six-year-old, um, she wasn't feeling very good the other day. And so um, we went outside and it was sunny and it was really nice out. And she looked at me and she said, mommy, I think the sun is healing me. And so it's so important, girls, to get outside and to enjoy the sun. And so, and today here in Oklahoma, it's gorgeous. So I don't know what the weather's like where you are, um, but I encourage you to get outside. 
All right, so after you do your cross, okay? And so we're still making it here. Now, if you're doing a ruler, you're probably on the first step, which is fine. Um, but we're gonna make our cross. All right, so you get the gist of this, right? Make our cross here. And I would encourage you to be as creative as you can. And I'm gonna share that here in a little bit. But I love that we serve a creative God. And so how neat that we get to do a craft together today. So here we go. So there we go. So there's a cross, right? And so then what I would suggest is I kind of start from the points of the cross. So you see how, you know, the right angles here. Uh, there's your math lesson for today. Uh, anyway, so we're going to start with the corners. And what I would do is I would start with baby this corner, and then I would take it to this corner. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your tape and you're just going to take it from corner to corner. And if you mess up, that's the good thing about tape. You just redo it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And then we're going to take from this corner to this corner. Okay. And then I'm going to do maybe from the bottom corner. Right. And we're going to do it from Again, I'm not perfect, so we're gonna do the best we can here today. Okay, there we go. We're gonna do from that corner to that. And then you might wanna go from this corner to this corner. Okay, so you're probably getting the gist of it. Now, what I would do, there's really no wrong way to do this. And so this is your project, your craft. Um, I'm gonna go from this corner then maybe to this. Kind of cool, it's like a, radiating, right? Um, and then I'm gonna go to this corner to this corner. Let's go from this to here. It'd be so much more fun if we all could be together, right, doing this, but I love that we get to do this together uh, on Zoom. And then we're gonna go from here to here. Now, after you get all of this, okay? So we have our cross, we have our line, and again, you don't have to do it this way. Um, but this was just one example. So I don't know if you've ever seen like a stained glass window or a mosaic, um, but they have like all different little pieces, all different colors. And so that's what we're gonna do with this craft. So you might take like this area right here, okay? And you might think, well, how many of these? Because eventually we're gonna color them in. So I'm probably gonna go maybe like this, like maybe like a little triangle there. Uh, let's see, maybe we do this next. And we could go from like here to here. Again, there's no wrong way or right way to do this. Um, and then we could go maybe, let's go from like down from maybe like here to here. How's that look? Yeah, look okay? All right, and then we're gonna go from maybe like here to here. Okay, now if you want it to be symmetrical, you can do this same thing, you know, over here. But if not, you can make it however you want to make it. Like this side, I might choose to make like a little square there. And so you're just going to continue to kind of just take your tape and you're going to just tape different areas like this. Okay. And you want to make sure that your tape does meet up though. Like that one didn't meet. So I'm going to make sure it meets up. And then you can just do that all the way around your craft. Okay. And so you can keep on going as much as you want or as little as you want. And I love this because um, I was so thankful for this opportunity to be with you girls today and to do this craft because I was thinking about this and I thought, I mean, we, God is so creative. And I know this because he not only made me, but he made you. And look how creative our God is. And I love if you're doing the Bible study on Monday nights. And that Dana talked about how God created us. And that he says that you are his masterpiece in Ephesians 2.10. And so that's what we're doing today. We're going to create masterpieces. And I love that. And so it's just a good reminder as we're doing this to even just think about how creative God is in making me. And then I get to be creative and make, make the cross and make this craft. So we're not going to spend our entire time together, me completing this. So I went ahead and I... Um, did one that was completed. So here is our completed one. And this is what your craft should look like. 
after it's all taped, okay? So you can see that I did not make my symmetrical. And what symmetrical means is basically, right, this side looks like this side. And so mine doesn't, and I just kind of got creative and I started taping. And so you can kind of just see all the different angles and all the different shapes. Um, and then this is the fun part. And I have some amazing helpers today to help me with this. So girls, you wanna come help? So these are my daughters. This is Charlotte, um, who I told you about earlier. She's six and she's in first grade. And this is Francesca. And Francesca, how old are you? 10. 10, and what grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade. And how are you liking homeschool? Um. <laughs> yeah. So we um, don't we don't normally homeschool, but that is what we're doing now. So anyways, girls, um, I encourage you, you can do this by yourself. You can do this as a family. Um, we did one a couple weeks ago that was similar to this. It's actually still on our fence. And, um, and it was so fun. It was such a fun project that we got to do together. So I have some amazing helpers. I'm going to have them start helping me color. So girls, you just want to pick a color and you start coloring. Um, now, as you're coloring, can you start coloring wherever you want to color? Okay, so say I decide to do like this, this area, and um, that is a funny red. Okay, so say I decide to do this, like this red color, and there's a lot of dust. If you have allergies, this would be a good time to take your allergy medicine. <laughs> oh, so anyways, you're coloring this, right? And one thing you might want to do, you might have to hold your tape down. So as you're holding it, you might have to like go down with the tape. Because one thing I've noticed, if you go like this, do you see how kind of like you can get to another square or the tape can get lifted? So you kind of want to go down. Girls are doing a great job. Okay. And then say I colored this a red color, although it looks kind of white, doesn't it? It's kind of neat. Pinkish white. Pinkish white. Okay. So this is a pinkish white color. And so like, say I color it this color, well, I wouldn't want to color this square the same color. I mean, you could, but you'll see at the end, it looks really neat whenever, like whatever color you choose, that you choose a different color to touch this color, if that makes sense. So like I might color this color here, but then I might jump up here and color this square, maybe like this color, right? This. So, um, wood is kind of, now I will say this, you want to be careful not to get splinters because the first time we did this, um, we had to get our tweezers out later and get our splinters out of our hands, right girls? And so, um, so anyway, so you'll want to just be really careful. Yes, so um, now the cross, you can do this any color, but what color girls do you think we should do the cross? White. White, yeah. I think white too, because white just, it tends to stand out. Um, do you want to hand me a white? Yeah. I can do a white. Okay. Okay. I, and I cannot wait. Thank you, Francesca. I cannot wait to see your creation. So um, you're going to have an opportunity and the true girl ladies, they will tell you more how to, about this at the end, but you're going to have an opportunity to send in your pictures because we want to see your masterpieces that you're creating today. Um, and so, and you could do more than one. Right? So anyways, I'm going to color the cross white because that was the vote in our family. Right? And we actually, while we're doing this, um, we have some pictures that girls have actually already submitted in. Um, and so one is my niece that um, she had, she did a cross um, that's on the sidewalk. Um, and it's, she did such a great job. Um, and so uh, you'll probably see that picture here in a second. And then um, one of our other sweet friends in Oklahoma, they actually, she got creative. Not only did she do this, but she just kept on going with her chop. And so she went to the mailbox and she's been coloring the mailbox. And so every little square of the mailbox, she's been coloring. Um, I know they told you that we have a home in Africa called the Pearl House and the girls there, they have not only done these creations, but they've taken scripture with chalk and they're writing on the walls of the Pearl House all the way around them with scripture. So that's something you also could do. Not only could do this, but you could also um, write scripture on your fence, on your sidewalk, um, wherever you are. It's so, so important to um, to write it and to know God's word. Um, and then another one, I think they might, there's another picture that sent in, she did her um, 
fence and it was a heart and uh, her whole family participated even her brother right and so um so get your whole family involved do several of them um and i cannot wait i cannot wait to see your all's creation so anyways you can see this is coming right along um and i would encourage you like you can press kind of hard so it can be vibrant um we did ours i think it might have been three weeks ago and i've seen more and more girls do these um families do them and I saw one, it was the entire, um, it took her entire uh, driveway. And so I have no idea how many hours that might've taken, but man, that's incredible. And um, so anyway, so do it. So we did ours, I think three weeks ago and it has rained several times and it is still up. And I love it because it just, I look out our window I'm drinking my coffee in the morning and I see the cross. And um, anyways, it's a great day, way to start my day. So are you girls doing okay? Doing okay? Okay. so. We'll come back, we're gonna check back on them here in a little bit um, as they're powering away. Any splinters yet? No, okay, all right, so we're, we're good to go. Um, and then so, and oh, hey, I do wanna say this though, if it's really sunny, because we learned the hard way on this, right? Is that, do you put your sunscreen on? That's a real thing, right? Okay, all right, so um, we're gonna move to this next one, okay? And so what we did is we actually did a completed one, just so you could see it. And so it kind of looks messy, right? It's just kind of like, kind of looks messy and you kind of, it doesn't, it's coming along, it's coming along. Um, but what I'm gonna do is then after you get all the square colored, do you see how like we did maybe a white here, but there's no white touching around it. And so, um, and you'll see why um, here in a second. And then you're gonna brush all your, all your chalk off. And then girls, do you wanna help me with the big reveal? Mm -hmm. All right, so anyways, I think a drum roll is always uh, appropriate, right? Do we need a drum roll? Half a drum roll? Okay, all right, so if you're at home and you're watching this, we need a big drum roll. Okay, here we go, ready? Uh, all right, do your drum roll. All right, we're gonna start taking it off, watching the fingers, not to make sure you don't get splinters. Wow, look at that. It's looking good. Looking good. Man, you help? You guys want to just do it? <gasps> wow. Good job. Good job. Thank you, girls, for helping me. Look at this. Is that not, look at that masterpiece, right? And I'm not even an artist, right? Um, but that is how, this is what it would look like after you take your tape off. And I love that we did the cross white um, because it just kind of makes it, makes it pop like that. But as you see this, I want you to remember not only Ephesians 2.10, that you are a masterpiece created by God. Um, but look how creative, look how creative. Now, some of us might be more artistic than others, um, but we all have creativity. And so I cannot wait to see your pictures. Um, so why they're still working, and maybe you're still working on your project, but I want just to take um, a couple minutes with you because this could take a long time for you to finish your project that you started. So I encourage you just to maybe put your chalk down for a second, right? Put it down, okay? Just I know it's hard. Like if you're like me and you start a project, you want to finish it, we're just going to stop for just a second and you can go back to it, okay? And so um, I want you, okay, you're just going to come across here with me. Okay. I want you to do something for me, okay? Are you guys all locked in, y'all with me? Okay, so I want you to picture that this, this is you, okay? This is, I told you I'm not a good artist, right? So I'm sorry that I'm drawing you as a stick figure, but here we go. So here you are, okay? Here, we'll put a smiley face because I bet all of you are smiling at home. All right, so there you are. Look how cute you are. Look at that masterpiece. All right. Okay, let's put some hair, right? Put some hair on you. Does that look like any of you at home? Probably not, right? But anyway, so here you are. Just envision this as you. And I want you to, I want you to think about this, that you are standing, okay? Here we are. You're standing on this huge cliff and it drops off. Drops off this huge ravine. Look at that. Now, some of you might be standing on the edge of the cliff and you're like, Ooh. okay, I would probably be standing more like right here because I tend not to like heights and that would be, Ooh, that's really deep, right? But I want you to picture you're standing right here. Okay, this is you. Okay, 
this is you masterpiece right okay all right so then i want you to picture this is over here this is god okay i do this here's god okay and god is over here on this side like that so you're here and god is here so why why are you way over here and god is way over here right well i'll tell you why because romans 3 23 say for all have sinned all have sinned and fall short of the glory of god so here is where we have sin okay so all of us even the best of us okay even those that we maybe picture in our mind that are perfect in every way they have sinned we all have sinned okay and we fall short of the glory of god because of sin right well romans 6 23 tells us right that for the wages of sin is death the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ so let's just stop there for just a second on that verse okay what is a wage the wage of sin well a wage is anything okay anything that's earned so let me give you an example a lot of you girls you might do chores at home right so maybe you have chores and maybe at the end of the week if you've done all your chores then you get an allowance okay so i want you to picture this picture that you have done all of your chores you've done everything that's been asked of you okay and at the end of the week okay you don't receive your allowance like you probably kind of upset right but because that's your wage, that's what you've earned. Like you have earned, that is what you have earned. Well, God says that we have earned death because of our sin. That's what we've earned. Now, what is sin? Well, sin is anything, anything that goes against God. And it can be anything that you say, that you think, and that you do. And that's what sin is. Okay. So our what we have earned, the wage of our sin is death. Okay. And that um, I think sometimes too, that sometimes I think um, maybe not you, but I think a lot of times we might think we can earn, earn maybe our way to be with God, but it still says like, we still, look at this, we still fall, we still fall short. Maybe you're like so nice, that you're so nice to your siblings. You're so nice to everyone. You're like the nicest person anyone has ever met in their whole entire life. Well, guess what? You still fall short. Okay, maybe um, you have done all these amazing things. Like you are so kind to others. You're taking food to your neighbors. You're you all these things that you're doing, and they're good things. But still, you're still falling short. So how do you how do you get over here? Okay, it says that wage for our sin is death, but. But I love this part is that it says, but the gift of God is eternal life. Now, how many of you girls like gifts? How many of you like gifts, right? I'm sure all of you are raising your hand at home because I know I love gifts. I know my girls love, love gifts. Um, I love to give gifts. I love to see people's faces when they open their presents. And the thing about gifts is that it's not, they're not earned. Like I, I would be so offended and hurt if I try to give you a gift. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, how can I pay you? How can, what can I do in return for that gift? I, I would be like, that would take away the, the um, excitement of me giving you a gift. Well, that's what God says. He says, but, but, right? That the gift, it's a gift um, through his son, Jesus. And so Romans 5, 8, Romans 5, 8, it says, God demonstrates his love in this. When we were still sinners, Christ died for us so while we are still sinners that he died for us and so there has to be a way right for us to get to god there has to be a bridge for us to get from this side to this side and god said i made a way and i hope that you can see that at home i made a way the bridge from us even though we deserve death but God says, but you know what? I have a gift for you. And the gift that I've given you is Jesus. And that is how we can be with him and live forever. 
And I love this part and it just blows my mind is that it says that while we were still sinners, that God gave us this gift, right? And so this would be, this would be like this, okay? So a lot of you might have siblings at home and, uh, or maybe you have a good friend. And so this would be like, maybe um, you have a sibling that is breaking your favorite toy or like something that you cherish and they come in and they just destroy it right in front of your face, okay? And then this would be like, while they're doing that, you're forgiving them. Like in there, in the midst of them tearing up, destroying it, you're forgiving them. And that's what God does for us is that while we are sinners, okay, that God forgives us. Amen. And this is how, this is how, and this is why we focus on the cross today. This is why today is Good Friday, because we know that Sunday is coming. And Sunday is Easter, right? Where we celebrate that Jesus rose from the dead and that we can have life for eternity, eternity. Now, while this was happening, right? Good Friday, they didn't call it Good Friday, right? Because it was really bad. It was really bad that Jesus was on a cross and that he was um, there. And it, was not, it wasn't good because they didn't know when Sunday was coming, right? But we know that Sunday is coming. And that is why we celebrate Good Friday because it's good. It's good because we know, right, in two days what we celebrate and that Jesus, he is alive. And I love this because in Romans, right, I want you to look also. Okay, we'll have the scripture up here, Romans 10, 9. It says, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You will be saved if you confess with your mouth, you believe it in your heart. Now, girls, there might be, maybe it's all of you. I don't know. There might be all of you that you know this truth, that you know, and you've confessed with your mouth and you believe in your heart that Jesus died for you and that you have, he is boss of your life. He is control of your life, right? Amen. And then if that is you, look at this opportunity that you have. You can share this with a friend, with a family member. It's an, it's an easy way and a good picture of how you can share what Jesus has done for us. I know a lot of you are on Zoom calls, you're doing FaceTime lives um, or Facebook lives, you're doing FaceTime uh, with each other. And so um, there's so many ways, even though we all might be quarantined right now, what an opportunity. People are ready. They're ready to hear and to hear the good news. So I challenge you to take this opportunity, share this with someone. Share them with someone. And girls, if you're here and you're like, I, I have never, I, I've never accepted this, this bridge. I've never confessed with my mouth and believed in my heart that Jesus died for me. Then ladies, man, what a better day. Can't think of a better day than today. Make this a great Friday, right? And so I, um, I just want to lead you through a prayer. And it's very simple. And it's not the word you say. It's the condition of your heart. God already knows your heart. He already knows what you're going to say before you say it. I just want to give you a little bit of, of, um, of guidance as we pray this. So um, I want everyone just to close their eyes for a minute. And I want to lead you through a prayer. And repeat after me. Um, if you want to take this opportunity to invite Jesus into your heart. So God, we thank you for today. We thank you that we get to be outside. We thank you for the cross. God, I pray that it will mean something to everyone, Father, that you will um, ignite in our hearts, even maybe a new passion, excitement for you, Jesus. I pray today on Good Friday, God, that there, if there are any of these girls that don't know who you are, Jesus, that they will ask you into their heart. And so, God, I want to just lead them through a prayer. Dear God, I know I'm a sinner. I know I sin every day. And that, God, there's nothing I can do that would cause you to love me any more or to love me any less than you do right now. Jesus, I believe you died on a cross for my sin. And I ask you to come live in my heart. Be the boss of my life. Jesus, I give my life to you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 
Amen. Well, girls, if that, if you did pray that prayer and that you made that decision today, we want to know because we want to celebrate with you. Okay. It's not something that you keep silent about, man. You want to tell people the good news. And so we want to know if you maybe asked Jesus into your heart for the first time today, if you share this with someone, we want to know about it. We want to know if you're sharing this with your friends or your family, because we need each other. We need to encourage one another. And so um, I just want to thank you for allowing me um, to be in your homes today. Um, I can't wait to see the pictures you're going to submit. Uh, and just know that my family, that we are praying for you. And, um, and I'm just, I'm so thankful that we get to celebrate Good Friday and Easter on Sunday. So thank, thank you. you, Courtney. That was so amazing. That was beautiful. What a, mm -hmm. what a fun and easy craft and a beautiful lesson. You are the best. And it was so fun. We were actually having a little text chain about you, about how amazing this activity is and how we want to be like you when we grow up. <laughs> um, <laughs> <That's so sweet. laughs> and I can't wait to see how all of their crafts turn out when we get their pictures. We'll make sure to share them with you, but girls, make sure you share a photo on Facebook or Instagram and tag us so that we can see it. And if you love Courtney as much as we do, which is a lot, we and, and want to know more about her ministry that she has in Ghana, you can go to thepearlhouse.org to learn more about that. But before we wrap up, we're going to have Stacy lead us into a prayer time. Yes, definitely. So we got some of you guys' requests, and then I just want to share them and go ahead and pray for them. So Kim said, thank you for um, praying for my sister. When she heard about you guys praying for her, she started sobbing. It really touched her. Please continue to pray for her. So that's really good. We'll continue to pray for her. Um, Haley said, my cat is going to have kittens for the first time. So please pray that she has a good delivery. We definitely will. That's so cute. Um, Candy said, please pray for my uncle. He's really sick and he has heart trouble. Could you pray? Oh, and she also said, could you pray for me about my adoption for the second time? That's pretty cool. So we'll pray for that for sure. Um, and then Kenzie said, if you could continue to pray for Amy and Hunter, um, her cousins, I believe Hunter used to have a tumor and it was removed, but Amy had one and it came back and she doesn't want them to get COVID-19. So we'll be praying for them too. And we'll also pray for Sharon's cousin, Joshi, who um, broke his arm. So let's go ahead and pray right now for those things. Um, God, we just come to you thanking you. We thank you for today, Good Friday, that just um, symbolizes and shows your love, Lord. It reminds us of what you did for us on the cross and how you loved us enough to sacrifice your own life for our sins. So we just thank you for today. We thank you for Resurrection Sunday that's coming, Lord, where we celebrate your resurrection, that you raised from the dead and that you um, just, you rose and gave us life through your resurrection. And we just thank you so much for that. We pray for the request that we have. I thank you for Kim's sister that was really moved by us just remembering her and praying for her, Lord. I pray that she would continue to seek you, Lord, and um, that she would just find peace in you and comfort in you, Lord, and that she would grow in her relationship with you. I pray for Haley, whose cat is getting ready to have kittens. I know that's um, a cool thing to happen anytime, but especially right now, Lord, with just so many crazy things going on. I thank you that her family is able to have that fun outlet and I pray for a safe delivery for her cat and that all the um, little kittens would just be healthy and that it would just be a really good thing for their family. I pray for Candy, um, whose uncle is sick and has heart trouble, Lord. I just pray that you would um, just heal him, Lord, strengthen his body and protect him during this crazy time with the virus, I just pray that you would just give him good health, Lord, and that he would um, use this time. I'm sure he's probably a bit feel fearful and everything. I pray that he would use this time to draw nearer to you, Lord, to see you even in this. I pray for Candy's adoption, that all of that would go well, Lord, and that um, she's just really excited about it and that she's going to a great family. And I also pray for um, Kinsey's cousins, Amy and Hunter, Lord. I pray that you would heal their bodies and protect them um, from the virus that's out, Lord. Just give them strength and um, just um, help them to not have their tumors anymore. I pray that you would just totally heal that whole situation and be in control of that as we know you are. And I also pray for Sharon, Lord. 
and her cousin Josh who broke his arm. Pray that you would just help him to heal up well and just give him fun things to do while I'm sure he's um, probably having to sit down, not only with the quarantine, but just to allow his body to heal and everything. Just please be with him during that process. And I pray for all our girls right now, Lord, that are adjusting to homeschool life. I know that's a totally different thing for a lot of people. So I just pray that you would just um, give them fun things within it, Lord, and help them to adjust well and to find the good in it, Lord. I thank you for um, just bringing families back together right now. It's a crazy time. It's not necessarily something we wanted, but there is good in it, Lord. So I would just pray that you would continue to strengthen families and just allow us to have good quality time together that we were missing being so busy and everything. Um, we love you. We thank you that you are in control of everything and that we can trust you and that we can seek you, Lord, for your peace and your comfort that you've promised us. We just love you so much and we thank you once again for what you've done for us on the cross, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, in a completely unrelated note, um, <laughs> you guys remember when we had the world's largest pajama party and it was like totally crazy fun because oh, yeah. and I like, <laughs> you haven't forgotten. <laughs> um, and I hope that you do not forget to sign up for our next party, the True Girl Crazy Hair Party. It is a brand new, never before seen Bible-based online event for moms and daughters. So for you. We're going to play games, have a lot of fun, and dive deep into God's word to learn about things like finding joy in every season, which can be really hard, and loving those around us, which can be really, really hard. It's happening Friday, May 1st from 7 to 8.30. You can find out how to be a part of it by going to mytruegirl.com slash crazy hair. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be so fun to do that with all you guys. Really excited. And if you have done all these mother-daughter devotional days with us leading up to Easter Sunday this week, I want to give you a virtual high five. Wow. <laughs> and I want all of you to know that every single video that we've done this past week, if you haven't been able to be with us for all of them, don't worry. We put them up on social media, YouTube, on our Facebook page. So go and check them out. For sure. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. And an extra special thanks to our friend Courtney from the Pearl House. That was a really good craft. I loved it. I think I'm going to go outside and see if I can find some chalk in the garage. Go <laughs> town on the sidewalk. So thank you for that. But um, have a great Easter weekend. Remember what it's all about. And just thank the Lord so much for what he's done for us. But we'll see you guys next week. Who wants to say it? Is it on me? It's you. <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 see you Monday. <laughs> <laughs>